is a warning of a downgrade of credit rating for India coming from credit agencies, Standards and Poor. And at this moment, what we are really looking at is why that is happening. So let's go over to Shweta Rajpal Kohli, who is going to be giving us more details on exactly why this is taking place and whether the problem is with policy and leadership. A very stern warning coming from international credit rating agency Standard & Poor's that has said that India may actually be the first BRIC nation to lose its investment grade rating. So what is it that S&P has said in that very critical report? It has said that the divided leadership at the center is the biggest hurdle for economic liberalization, pointing to one of the major factors why it's considering to, that it may downgrade India, also saying that slowing growth, political roadblocks have put investment grade rating at a risk. India right now enjoying that investment grade rating, which Standard & Poor's has clearly said is at risk because of a number of factors that it has cited in the report. A negative outlook reflects that risks uh, that India will be unable to react to shocks. Talking particularly about the kind of policy paralysis that we've seen at the centers, S&P clearly saying that India may not be able to react to any economic shocks uh, given that uh, there have been setbacks in the path towards more liberal economy that could also hit uh, the overall credit quality uh, for uh, the country's rating and that's why a stern warning there coming that India may be losing that investment grade uh, rating uh, that's coming from Standard & Poor's. Uh, how India's government reacts will determine whether India can actually retain the rating. So at the same time saying that the government's reaction here on two important uh, uh, economic developments uh, in reviving growth is something that may determine how uh, S&P reacts with, with regard to its uh, uh, overall economic uh, rating. Uh, the business confidence has also taken a hit. That's clearly something coming uh, from the report uh, very clearly. And uh, that's something we've, uh, that uh, investors and uh, industrialists have been talking about for a very, very long time. Also, the fact that uh, there have been setbacks in the economic policy that have clearly hurt investor sentiment. That's another clear message coming uh, from the S&P report uh, today. Also, S&P goes on to say that those retrospective tax changes uh, that clearly industry has opposed all this while ever since they were introduced in the budget have raised concerns among investors. Again, once again, pointing to whether the government did the right thing uh, by introducing those retrospective tax changes or not. Let's see how the Sensex and the Nifty reacted uh, to that uh, very critical S&P report ending uh, in the red, the nifty down, uh, almost flattish there, but uh, closing in the red today. 5,054 is where it ended, 14 points in the red. The Sensex also ended the session in the red, uh, 50 points in the red, 16,668 is where the Sensex ended the session today. Back to you. Do you have the NDTV Profit app? All the markets, all the news and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at ndtvprofit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.